Okay, uh, in this problem, you have a pail of water rotating in a vertical circle of radius one meter. So here's your bucket of water. Um, and the radius of this circle, this is a little bit of a fudge because each of these little water molecules has a slightly different radius. Um, but we're just going to say that the average radius is one meter. And then the question is, what is the pail's minimum speed at the top? Because each, each position is slightly different, right? The weight vector, the tension pretty much stays the same in terms of direction, but the weight vector um, changes its position relative to the circle. So here's your bucket of water going in this circle that's bigger than this page of radius one. Okay, and then we want the minimum speed if no water is to spill out. And so basically, let's make that uh, let's make that red. Okay, so let's draw a force diagram. There is always weight. And then technically there could be a normal force. If we don't want the water to spill out, there should be a normal force. So let's talk a little bit about the physics of that. Um, how does that work? So here's the bucket of water a little bit earlier. And then here's the water and the water is always moving or trying to move tangent to the circle, right? So if you, if you release the bucket, it would fly off in this direction. Um, so what happens is the bucket through the centra pedal force of the tension moves from point A to point B and the water, I hope this makes sense to you, is literally by trying to fly up tangent, slams itself into the bottom of the bucket there, which creates a downward normal force. Okay, because the water is literally throwing itself at the bucket. Okay, so um, as long as it's, the water is going fast enough, it slams itself into the bucket, there's a normal force. But if we don't want any water to spill out, then um, that means the normal force is going to be zero. So um, on the, well, maybe we can do it right down here. So hopefully you can see there's, n there's only radial information here. There's no non-radial column. So we're going to say sum of the forces equals mv squared over r. And remember the new mnemonic is n must win. So you have the normal force is n plus the weight is n equals mv squared over r. And then, I so I recommend that you do that and then say, but I don't want the normal because I want to find that transitional speed. Uh, the fancy math word is the critical speed. Um, and if I go faster than that, I'm going to slam myself into the bucket and I'm good. If I go more slowly than that, the, the rope's going to go slack and the water's going to start falling out over here. Okay, and then notice it didn't give you the weight or the mass of the buck of the water because it's going to cancel. So weight equals mg equals mv squared over r, mass cancels. And then the minimum speed is the square root of gr. You will see that formula over and over again. Please don't just throw that formula down. Um, you want to explain where it comes from. And the radius is one. If you take the square root of 9.8, you apparently get 3.13 meters per second. Um, okay, I think that's it. I think that's all the extra stuff I wanna say. That's four minutes. Perfect time.